I made myself a hot chocolate with whipped cream, but I spent so long setting up the angle and setting everything up that all the cream has just melted into the hot chocolate. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I decided to just stay in my Christmas pajamas. I actually got these last Christmas, so you might have seen these in last year's what I got for Christmas video. Wait, did, I didn't wear them last year, did I? I don't think I did, actually. Maybe I wore some other pajamas that James had got me. But these are my favorite pajamas. I think they were originally from Sainsbury's and they are so comfy. Feel free to grab yourself a hot drink or a cold drink or whatever you wanna drink and join me while you watch this video. I was gonna say I'll try not to make it too long, but I mean, we all know what I'm like. And I completely appreciate that these videos aren't for everybody and so if you don't want to watch this video I will not be offended. There was a slight change of order in my video uploads because I kind of forgot that I would be doing a what I got for Christmas video but my next video will be my 2022 favourites. Also all of the ad revenue that I make from this video I will be donating to Turn To Us which is a charity that I will leave linked down below. I hope you guys all had a good Christmas if you celebrate it and if you don't celebrate it and if you celebrate something different I hope you've had a good holiday season or just if you don't celebrate anything at all then I just hope you're good in general. I'm all about practical gifts and this year my main gift that I actually asked for for Christmas was oh god I can't actually lift it a carpet cleaner. This was the main thing that I asked for for Christmas and James got me one. This is the Vax Dual Power Pet Advance carpet cleaner and I've not actually finished fully setting this up yet. I still need to like attach bits and pieces to it and give it a go. There's a couple of reasons why I wanted one of those. One, because we have carpets on our stairs and upstairs and like in my filming room and in our bedroom and stuff. I have spilt many different things on my filming room carpet. There's lots of makeup that's like on that carpet. Also, we've got a rug downstairs um, and also we have obviously this sofa. Our sofa is quite a light gray sort of color and we have a dog and sometimes she comes in from outside and she gets muddy paws on the carpet and also just in general I'm quite clumsy and I spill things quite often and like I don't know there's been a few spillages on the carpet which obviously you get off with a regular sort of like stain remover spray but I just thought it'd be so much easier to have our own carpet cleaner so this is kind of a gift for both of us. James was actually really naughty because he kept asking me for things that I wanted for Christmas and I was like the main thing that I wanted was this like I don't really need anything else but he was like no I want to get you some more stuff so he was asking me for specific things so I sent him a couple of links to things um that I'd seen that were either like on Black Friday sales or that I'd seen a lot of these things I'd actually seen on TikTok. The first one actually being these gold hoop earrings that I'm wearing. Um, wait, let me take you out and show you. Ugh, I'll show you one of them. I just wanted some slightly chunkier gold hoops and I absolutely loved the shape of these ones and I, oh, I didn't just put it in my ear hole. I'd actually seen an ad for this brand on TikTok called Hey Harper and it says the original waterproof jewelry brand. So I will report back on this and whether or not they like stay this color or if they tarnish because they're not supposed to, but they're also not crazily expensive. And James said that at the time they were doing a deal where I think you could basically get two for the price of one. And so he got me two pairs pairs, not of the same ones, but you got me these ones, which they're actually quite heavy. I didn't think they would be heavy, but they feel a little bit heavy. And then he got me these as well, which are from the same brand. If I just give you a little close up, can you see, or is it too bright? I'm not using the same lighting that I do upstairs usually, but they're just these like sort of square gold hoops that aren't quite as big as these ones. So I absolutely love those. Thanks, James. The next thing is another bloody thing that I saw on TikTok. And when I opened the box, I was like, what is this? I could, I had no idea what this was gonna be because the packaging for this brand is so fancy, but it's called Eternal Muse. And from that, again, I was like, is it a fashion brand? And then I opened it and I was like, oh. So I asked for one of these, which is one of those hair rope, what, hang on, what's the actual description? The zero heat set, and it's a heatless curling rod. I usually use my dressing gown rope, which works great, but I'd seen this brand advertised on TikTok, and in the set you get two sort of satiny scrunchies. You get a clip where, while you're putting your curls in, you clip this to the top of your head, and then this is the curling rod, and basically what you do is you put this on top of your head, you clip it into place, you wrap your hair around it, like you keep doing this. Okay, not like this, a lot neater, but you pick pick up more hair and then you wrap it around and then you secure it at the end with a scrunchie. Leave it for a few hours or overnight. And on TikTok, the lady that was advertising this who owns the brand was saying that it's a lot softer than the Shein ones because I, and like the much cheaper ones that you can get online. Cause they do sell this kind of thing online for really, really cheap, but she actually cut one of them open and showed the inside the cheaper ones. It's like a thick sort of foam rod which doesn't really bend and it's not the most comfortable to sleep on. Whereas this one is sort of filled with like 
pillow sort of stuffing. So I will have to give this a go and let you know. I'll probably do a TikTok all about this because um, yeah, I saw it on TikTok. It went a bit viral, I think, and I'm really excited to try it. And they do different lengths and thicknesses and stuff, but I think I just got the original one. James absolutely spoiled me this year. He got me a new pair of Nike Air Forces. And a little top tip, guys, if you have a slightly smaller feet, my feet are a four and a half. I think up to five or five and a half, you can get the junior trainers from Nike and Adidas and places. I think they're like maybe 30 or 40 quid cheaper than the adult ones for pretty much the exact same shoe. So thank you so much, James. I'm gonna be wearing these all the time in the summer. Okay, this is a bit screwed up because I have worn it. He got me a couple of bits from, wait, hang on. I, w <laughs> I just realized I wore it and I accidentally kept the label in, which I can now take off, but that's the coolest label ever. He got me a couple of bits from Teddy Fresh. They were doing a Black Friday sale and their Black Friday sales, they usually have like 40 to 50% off stuff. And so I did mention that I really liked the look of this hoodie. If you didn't know, uh, Teddy Fresh is the brand that is owned by Ela Klein, who is Ethan Klein's wife. They both do the H3 podcast together and the H3 podcast is like my favorite thing to listen to. It's my favorite thing on YouTube. And um, yeah, this year, well, I, I listen to every single episode and I just love them. And I love Ela's brand, Teddy Fresh. Not only is their quality amazing, I got a hoodie from them last year for Christmas actually. Not only are their clothes really good quality, like the materials they use are like thick, like the kind of thick hoodie materials that you find with like designer clothes. And they are quite expensive, but look out for their sales because the sales are crazy good. He got me this hoodie, which has got some stitching, like embroidered teddy bears doing tug of war on the front. I really like it. And then he also got me a Teddy Fresh beanie, which has got a little pin on it, like a teddy bear pin, and then the Teddy Fresh little logo. I love a beanie. I don't have a Teddy Fresh beanie, and I'm very excited to wear it. So thank you, James. I told you, like he he went a bit crazy this year. I mean, he goes crazy every year. I think he takes after his mum. I think this is the last thing that he got me. This was such a sweet and thoughtful gift from James. So when I opened it, I was like what is it and he explained that he had an advert for this on Facebook and it's basically a heat and electro current device that is supposed to help with period pains and he said that he went for this one because it had the best reviews and it's supposed to be really good for helping reduce your period cramps um, and like helping with the pain and stuff like how thoughtful is that I had not asked for this I had obviously he knows that I get quite bad period pain sometimes and I just thought that was really, really sweet of him to think to get me one of these. And he was like, oh, and you can wear it under your clothes, you can wear it outside of the house. And he'd done his research into this brand and it's supposed to be really good. So I will let you know how I get on with it. It's called Namisk, No Misk, No Misk. And it's called the Maya. And so it looks like this. It's got like a soft bit here. Um, I think it's rechargeable and it's got a strap where you can wrap it around your waist or like on your back or wherever you need it and I will let you know how I get on with it but I just thought that was so sweet. I am extremely lucky like he got me way too much and I said to him I was like James stop buying me presents. <laughs> so next I'm gonna go into the stuff that I got from my parents. They did get us a joint gift which was a kind of like voucher gift card thing for us to go out for a nice dinner which is really nice because um we love going out for dinner. The next thing that I got from my parents was actually one of my favorite gifts, I think, of my whole Christmas. They got me some iced tea peach syrup. I love peach iced tea. And when we went to France this year, there was this syrup stuff that you just mix with water and it's got like the tea flavoring in there already and the peach flavoring. So all you do is add water and ice and then you've got a peach iced tea. Whereas in the UK, there are these little like pellet things that you can buy and mix with water and it makes peach iced tea, but I've not really seen a syrup where you mix it with water and it becomes peach iced tea. Obviously we have peach syrup, but not peach iced tea syrup. So I think my mum got this on Amazon, but it's a French brand called 183 Maison Routin. How's my French accent, mum? Um, it did have a regular lid on it, but it also came with a pump. And so I put it on the pump one immediately and then went home and made myself an iced tea. So thank you, mum and dad. That has made my year. And I'm really hoping this is gonna last a while because it's quite a big bottle. It's like, is it one litre of iced tea syrup? Love that. The next gift from my parents, I was not expecting at all. I actually gasped when I opened this because I had no idea that my parents even knew what this was or that it was a thing. I mean, obviously my, okay. So my dad is a big Taylor Swift fan as well as myself. Also my brother and his girlfriend are really big Taylor Swift fans. My mum couldn't give two shits, but she ha doesn't really have a choice because my dad is playing Taylor Swift constantly in their house. But my dad picked this out for me. It is the Taylor Swift era's bracelet. Oh no, hang on, I should have put it in how it arrived in the box. I didn't think that my dad would know that I this is something that I would even want. And he was like, have you, I don't know if you'd ordered one for yourself. I was like, 
No, I didn't. I thought about it, but I didn't. But I, I was just so excited by this. Um, so it is a gold bracelet and then it's got a little gem which represents each one of her albums. Now that I've shown you in the video, I'm gonna put it on and add it to my bracelet collection. Because I never really used to wear bracelets because a lot of the time, a lot of the time I find that they were too big for my wrists. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. It matches with my other bracelet so perfectly. What have you got? Five packs of them. <laughs> James got a coffee machine for Christmas and he's just very excited because he ordered himself some more Tassimo pods. You ready to catch? Oh, it's quite heavy. Tassimo pods. <gasps> Hello, sweetie. <laughs> we had a bit of Boxing Day drama with Pinky. She got something in her eye. So we had to take her to the emergency vet. She's doing good. She's got some eye drops. She's got to go back for another checkup on Friday. Whoa. Pinks, I can't film my video like this. I guess I'll try and do it like this. The next thing that I got for my parents was a Hello 2023 diary, which my mum gets me these every year. It's from a brand called Busy Bee. And these are the best diaries that I found because they're small, they're compact. Like the way that it's laid out on the inside, it's like a weekly view with notes on the other side. And they've got little like compartments where you can put things in and they're just really good diaries if anybody's looking for one. They got me some chocolate spoons, which I was trying to work out. Like, do you use these to make hot chocolate or is it literally just a chocolate spoon? You can dip in your hot chocolate. I think that's what it is. Some chocolate spoons. I love my hot chocolate. As you can probably tell, I'm literally drinking one in this video. <laughs> and then the last thing that we got from my parents is a chopping board because me and James needed a new small one because all of our chopping boards are like these massive, great big things. They weren't the best quality ones because when we moved in, we just got some really cheap ones. So they got us a nice new chopping board. So I think that is everything that I got from my parents. So thank you so much, mom and dad. That uh, peach iced tea syrup and actually the Taylor Swift bracelet are some of my favorite things that I got for Christmas. So thank you so much, mom and dad. And I'm very excited to go out for our meal. Wait, I've just realized they got me some other things. Where are my board games? Thank you. I lied, that was not everything I got from my parents. They also got me two board games because I'd actually put four different board games on my Christmas list from a brand called Big Potato Games because they make some really good TikToks on how to play their board games. And I'm so much more of like a visual person watching something. Oh, it's James talking to our neighbors. I can hear him talking to our neighbours, but he's left the front door open, so I don't want them to hear me filming a video. I love how Pinky's just come and sat on my lap. She doesn't often come and sit on my lap, but the one time I'm filming a video, she comes and sits on my lap. Hey, is it because you want some attention? Big Potato Games, their TikTok, they're really good at explaining how to play their games and it just made me want all of them. So I put four different ones on my Christmas list, but I just thought I would get like one or two of them. But between my family, they got me all four games. So from my mum and dad, they got us P for Pizza, which is the easy cheesy letter game. And then Herd Mentality, I think she can smell my parents on the game. Both of these two games look so good and I love a board game. Like my favourite kind of evening is to have like friends or family round or go and see friends and family, play some board games, have some food, have some drinks, like that is my idea of a good night. And then moving on from my parents, from my brother and his fiance, my brother is now engaged. I don't know if I've even mentioned that online, um, but yeah, my brother is getting married, which is so exciting. They got me two more games, or got us, sorry, two more games. Color Brain, which we actually played on Christmas Day because on Christmas Day, um, me and James went around to my parents for our Christmas like lunch slash dinner. And then in the evening, both my parents and me and James went over to James's family and we played some board games and we actually played Color Brain and it was really good. We got this one and then we also got Sounds Fishy, which was probably the main one that I wanted because this one just looks really good. It's kind of a bit similar to Would I Lie to You kind of thing. And so yeah, we've now got some great board games, which I can't wait to play. And I'm actually having my friend around tomorrow for board games evening so we'll probably play some of these and then i think the final thing that we got from my brother and his fiance are oh no they're not for dogs some milk chocolate turtles from a brand called chococo these chocolates are so good i have eaten one of them already but this chocolate brand in general these are some little chocolate turtles which are really cute and it is good chocolate the best bit is it says that this particular chocolate supports ocean giants the ocean giants program and then from my grandparents they gave us some money which was very kind of them and then also these champagne truffles which are delicious i have already opened them and this really sweet little dog purse so thank you to my nan and my step granddad if you guys are watching this i know that my nan sometimes watches my videos so nan if you're watching thank you very much and i love you both so i think that was everything from my family and then moving on to james's family so from 
his parents. James's mum always goes absolutely crazy at Christmas. The first thing from James's parents were a couple of different experiences. They got us a two night stay away, which we can like choose the location within the UK. And I think there's actually a couple of places in Europe as well. They also got us a really nice steak dinner in London and also a treasure chest no what's it called treasure hunt <laughs> treasure chest a treasure hunt around london which i'm kind of curious as to what that actually is but i mean it sounds fun we love going into london so we will definitely be doing that so those were like the main things from james's parents and we like at that point i was like okay that is enough like that is more than enough but they also got me this adorable oh <laughs> No, I've just got lipstick on it. This adorable little elephant, which is like a, um, is it wicker, this material? I actually saw this when I went away for the weekend with James's family. It was like a girl's weekend that we did and we visited the Peak District and I have got no idea how James's mum managed to go back and get this for me for Christmas without me noticing. I guess we did split off at some points and I went around with his sister and his cousin, but very sneaky. And I was so excited when I opened this because I saw it there and I was like, that is so cute. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but I would definitely find a place for it because I think it is adorable. They also got us James and Sophie bubble tea set. This is a kit that comes with the cups. It comes with straws. It comes with different syrups. Like there's a mango one. I think there's a raspberry one as well. Mango raspberry syrup. And then it also comes with the little um, boba balls. These are passion fruit, which I usually get peach mango tea with passion fruit balls. So these are like my favorite flavors. There's some lychee popping balls, which are James's favorite. And then you'd also get some tapioca in there as well. And then like the cups and stuff, but we love bubble tea like fruit tea like the super sweet bubble tea i'm not a fan of like the creamy sort of ones but these are absolutely perfect and i cannot wait to make a bubble tea next from james's parents they got me a hot chocolate station which is a malteser and galaxy one i have already opened this and that is actually the hot chocolate that i'm drinking right now so it comes with some marshmallows some like chocolate chips and then a whole bunch of hot chocolate sachets and they also got me a bar of galaxy as well oh and a christmas galaxy chocolate collection. I think both of these were from his parents. Some of the stuff James opened and some of the stuff I opened. So this, oh, one of these might have been from his nan. Either way, absolutely love Galaxy. So thank you guys. They also got me another little hot chocolate set thing, which has got the chocolate stuff, some marshmallows, chocolate chips, and a lotus biscuit. This is a s'mores. Oh my God, it's not a hot chocolate. It's a s'mores mug cake. I love a mug cake. They then also got us some winter candles, which are cinnamon sugar, winter to sledding and snowfall always nice to have some festive candles and then also these which are from a brand called turtle doves and they are cozy wrist warmers and handy gloves recycled from jumpers for someone to love they're made from 100 percent recycled cashmere and they are just some fingerless gloves and we're actually going to the lake district soon so i will definitely be bringing those with me they got me a taylor swift quiz book which i was actually quizzing my dad when he then came round on christmas day to james's parents they also got me a couple of necklaces the first one is this one from <gasps> wait where is it why is it not in here i was wearing it and i took it off to have a shower they got me a little rose gold necklace that's got a little heart on it which was from next and then the other necklace i'm actually wearing and this is from a brand called monica Veneda. monica Venada. monica Veneda. i'm not sure how you pronounce it but i've seen this brand advertised before and it's really cute packaging and i've actually got the necklace on it's not this one but it's this little one that is like i've layered up with it so it's just it's just a gold necklace that has these tiny little bobbles on it it's so dainty and it just layers so perfectly with my other necklaces i absolutely love that and then they got us these copper candle holders which i do have some little tea lights that i can put in these so you can actually hang them from somewhere or you can just have them sort of like perched on the side there and you put a little tea light in it and it all sort of like flickers in the reflections these are so cute um it says on their dibor d-i-b-o-r they are so sweet i would definitely be putting those up once i've taken down my christmas decorations do you see what i mean in that like they just absolutely spoil us i think this is the final thing that james's parents got us it is a hand blender because this was actually one of the things that was on my christmas list because for like making soups and like gravies and stuff like that it's just really handy to have a hand blender and i didn't 
didn't have one. So thank you so much to James's parents. And then from James's sister, I mean, first of all, this gift bag is so beautiful. From James's sister, she got me this, which is so beautiful. It says on it, Colette Banners Glass. And it says at the bottom, taracolette.co.uk. And this is a glass ornament, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on the tree or if I'm gonna like hang it up somewhere. But can you see how the light sort of shines through? I was about to do that, obviously you can't see then. I don't know if you can see how the light shines through this, but it is so beautiful. It's like a glass and metal moon ornament, which I think is so beautiful. And it just looks so pretty under the light. She also got me this little ornament, which I think is a Christmas ornament that's supposed to look like a Santa hat, but I might have got that completely wrong. I think it's just a little ornament that you can put on the side and like I have little like Christmas tree bits by the TV. So I'm thinking that it just sort of like goes on display like this and it looks like a little like Christmas tree or like a Santa hat, but I could be completely wrong and it might be for something else, but I'm pretty sure that it's just a cute ornament. And then also she got me some chocolate as well. This is the Tony's Chocoloni chocolate bar and then some little mini Lindors as well. So thank you so much to James's sister. Then from James's sister's best friend and her partner and like I said, She's pretty much part of their family, but I don't really know what to call her other than James's sister's best friend. <laughs> she got me some cozy socks, some like fuzzy, fluffy socks. This is one of the pairs of them, but the other pair were had like a festive design on them. I have already worn them and they are in the wash, but I always love getting socks for Christmas because I don't know, you can never have enough cozy socks. And then they also got me this beautiful scarf. I have, again, I wore this on Boxing Day. I think it's like a hound's tooth kind of design. And then it just has these black tassels at the bottom. It is so soft. At the bottom of this, it says it's from very.co.uk. It is such a nice scarf. It is so cozy and it is so soft and I absolutely love it. I wear these kinds of colors all the time and yeah, I don't have a scarf like this. I love that. From James's uncle, he's actually a chef and he got us this amazing carving knife set which we were actually really in need of because our like roast carving knife isn't the best and this is a really nice one so i'm very excited to use this next time we have a roast which is probably in a few days time because we love a roast so he got us that amazing knife set and then also a roast revolution cookbook oh my god this is just making me so hungry look at some of this food from James's mum's best friend, like one of his family friends who they're also super close with, she got us a gift this year, which is this tea light sort of candle holder thing. And it was a really lovely story behind this actually. She said that the story behind this was, um, it was from some people that were training in woodwork and new skills, like learning new skills to get out of sort of like rough situations. And it's people that are sort of like trying to turn their life around by learning different skills. And one of them is woodwork. But yeah, how nice is that? I thought it was a really nice story behind it. So thank you, Jan, if you're watching. And then from James's aunt and uncle and his cousins, they got us a wax melt thing, which I don't think we have a wax melt thing. I don't know what these are called. And oh my God, these smell so good. Oh, they smell unreal. So you put a little tea light in here and then you put your wax melt on top and they smell unbelievable. And then also as well, this aroma diffuser, which has got different color options. So you just put different essential oils in here and then it like makes the air smell really nice. And then wait, hang on, where did I put the little, where did I put the little? Oh yeah, we've got a Lang Lang complete floral scent and a geranium bourbon scent. And it, these obviously go inside the diffuser. So thank you very much guys. And then the last thing, <gasps> wait, no, it's not the last thing because I've missed off one thing. Wait, I'll show you the last thing at the end. But these two things were from James's nan. This is a candle, but how beautiful is this? So it looks like a Christmas tree ornament. So I guess you can just have it sitting here here like this and then on the inside it just has a candle so you can replace the candle when it runs out and probably find another candle to fit in there and then when you're not using it you can just put the lid on i think that's so cool and then she also got us these really cute little owl ornaments i'm not quite sure where to put them but they are so delicate and so precious and how cute is that it's a tiny little owl how cute are they i don't even know if you can see them that was everything that we got from james's family but there was one thing that i forgot to show you which was also from james's parents so this this is the last thing. I think I'm really, really hoping that I've not missed anything. This is a drinks cart. I was saying to James's mum when she came to help us tidy that I would really like a drinks trolley. And then she got us one for Christmas. And I absolutely love this one. We need to put it together and build it. But it's exactly what I wanted. It's basically just a gold drinks trolley with some wheels on it. So when we have people around, we can get out the drinks trolley instead of just having them all piled up somewhere. So that is everything that I got for Christmas. I am so 
incredibly grateful for everything that I got this Christmas. And to be quite honest, I'm very excited to go and try my carpet cleaner. But I hope you guys had a good Christmas if you do celebrate it. And like I said, if you do celebrate something different, I hope you're just having a good sort of like festive season in general. I will be back obviously in the new year making some videos and I will be getting up my 2021, no, 2022 favorites video very soon. So look out for that one. That will be my next video and that still will be a charity video. That is everything from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. I just quite like watching these videos because I find them quite cozy and just like, I don't know, it's just quite fun to see what other people got. That's how I feel anyway. James is just bringing in our dinner. <laughs> Oh, Actually, that's Pinky's dinner. dinner. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye!